Hello everyone. Well, it's a bit of a running joke that I try to match my socks to the vacuum cleaner I'm about to show you. But the vacuum cleaner I'm about to show you is pretty funky. So these are the funkiest socks I could find. These are happy socks. And if you're into socks, then you can check out many, many different happy sock videos on my other channel, Roger's Bits and Doings, because I've unboxed quite a few happy sock advent calendars. So if you want to see me cavorting around wearing many, many different pairs of socks, check out my other channel, Roger's Bits and Doings. So anyway, here's some funky socks. I've also got a funky shirt on. This is one of my more funky shirts. This is very retro to me. It reminds me of the 1970s because the cleaner I'm about to wheel in is from the 70s. I think it's about 74, 75. I'm going to wheel it in because I don't have to unbox this machine because it was hand delivered. Well, it was just thrust in my face and the man couldn't get away fast enough. I don't know why I scared him, but I must have scared him. So um, I have done a little bit of work on it. I've given it a bit of a buff, a bit of a polish but I've not actually switched it on. I'm going to save that up for this video. So, without any further ado, let's go and fetch this 70s vacuum. And here it is, a Hoover Senior, or Ranger Senior. I'm not sure what it's called, but it's a pretty rare beast in the United Kingdom. My American viewers will recognize the shape of this vacuum. And it's not one of my American imports either. I didn't pay a fortune to import this machine from America. I don't have to use my special black box to convert the wattage or the voltage, in fact. No, all I have to do is plug it in to a UK socket and hopefully this cleaner will work because although this is an American import, it was made for the UK market. Yes, this Hoover Upright vacuum cleaner was proudly made in the US of A. And I believe the story around why we got this in the UK, there were industrial action happening in, uh, in the UK at the time, in the mid 70s. There was a lot of unrest, a lot of people going on strike. There was inflation, there was all sorts of problems. So basically we've come full circle in 2022. So it's like being in the 70s again. So I thought I'll use the 70s vacuum. I'll show you another 70s vacuum. So I believe there were strikes, there were industrial disputes, and I think the production at the UK Hoover factories was affected. So they brought in a few American made machines. There was this cleaner. There was an orange and taupey colored constellation, which I used to own. And also I think a Hoover celebrity. I never knew this cleaner existed until fairly recently in the UK. I've seen it in American brochures, but I didn't think we actually got one. I saw one on a, a sitcom, well, it was a comedy drama on the BBC a couple of years ago, and it ended up going in a skip. And I, I noticed it in the corner of the kitchen. I thought, why have they got an American vacuum? But it was one of these. So um, yeah, I wasn't very happy to see it being thrown on the skip at the time. So here it is. This is looking a lot, lot better. Well, not much better, a fair bit better than it did when I got it. It wasn't shiny. It was pretty clean. It's got a new belt fitted and they did put a clean dust bag in. This is from a vacuum cleaner shop in West Yorkshire and uh, they sold it on a bike now. It was, you know, quite a hefty price for one of these, but pretty rare. And the auction was finishing and no one had bid on it. So I thought I'll give it a good home and I have. So what I've done, just given it a polish. I have washed this. This is the funkiest part of the cleaner. Look at this bag. I mean, crikey. What drugs did you have to be on to decide that that was a nice design for your Hoover vacuum? It was the 70s. 70s design was a bit out there, was a bit crazy. I was a child of the 70s, so I wasn't high on any drugs, but a lot of the people who designed clothes and furniture and household equipment must have been smoking the wacky backy. But it's rather nice to see something so retro in 2022. This is a vinyl bag and I have washed it, hand washed it with some liquid um, washing detergent, rinsed it and just let it air dry. So that's all I've done it. A polish and the bag's been washed. Let's take a look at the underside of this Hoover Ranger Senior convertible. 
It's pretty similar to the Avocado Green Ranger Senior I've shown you on my channel fairly recently. This base is a bit shinier than it was, just had a bit of polish, just so it would glide over the carpet nicely and it wasn't going to be dirty when I finally switched this on. We can access the belt without any tools and there is a pretty new belt fitted I'd say. The brushes are fairly good. I don't think they need replacing at this moment in time. And it does have a plastic fan as well on this cleaner, it's not a metal fan. Let's have a look at the rating plate and perhaps some of my American viewers can actually date this machine for me. This is Hoover Cleaner model U4003-003, 240 volts, 40 to 60 hertz, 400 to 600 watts, and the serial number is U4003-411-25154, trademarks of Hoover Limited, made in the USA by the Hoover Company. The reason this Hoover Cleaner says 400 and 600 watts is because it would boost the power to 600 watts when the cleaning tools were attached and the tools slide into the back here and they hit a micro switch. And I've noticed on this machine it's different to the micro switch we had on our Ranger Seniors. We had an actual switch, a little switch box with all the electrical gubbins in. But on this particular American import, we've just got, and I'll zoom in so you can see it, we have a switch mechanism here, but it's actually on a shaft or a column, and it must connect with a switch underneath the hood. So that's a bit different, but if you listen carefully, you can hear the click. So as the converter was pushed into the back of the machine, the micro switch would boost the motor to 600 watts to give you slightly better performance when using the cleaning tools. I'm going to remove the hood of this cleaner a bit later on in the video. A, because I want to see if there's a suppressor fitted and B, I'll need to take the hood off if I need to put a new headlamp in and we'll find that out when I switch the machine on in a minute whether the headlamp bulb has blown. Probably will have but you never know a new one may have been fitted. I don't believe the American cleaners sold in America actually had suppressors fitted, so it'll be interesting to see if this American import has got one. So, without any further ado, I'm going to plug it in and switch it on. Right, I wasn't expecting it to turn on. It does have a hand-operated on-off switch. I think most of our seniors, especially the Ranger Senior and the other seniors had a foot operated switch in the UK. Our commercial senior did have a hand switch, a little toggle switch at the top like this one. Well, the motor sounds okay. I definitely didn't see the light coming on. Sounds slightly different to our Ranger Senior model, but I think it sounds as it should. Please comment below if you think that sounds correct. Obviously, I'm going to have to remove the hood anyway. I need to see if I can put a new headlamp bulb in and obviously have a look to see if the suppressor is still fitted. Always unplug your vacuum cleaner before attempting any maintenance tasks, even if it's just changing the belt. We can leave the belt and agitator in place. I don't think I need to remove it. So, hmm, which screws do I have to undo? Because it is different. There's one there. Hmm. Hmm. Very curious. Obviously, the hood does come off because 
the consumer would have to remove it if they wanted to put a new bulb in. And I expect in the instruction book, it would tell you which screws to undo. That one looks like it should be undone. There's another one at the other side, so it's possible. Yes, I think that one as well. Just next to the rating plate, the rating sticker. I think they're all the same size. Yes, they seem to be. Right, is there any more? It could only be, might only be two actually. I think it could only be two, maybe, we'll see. We'll see if we can remove the hood with the handle in the low position. Yes, I think it's gonna come off. Yes, so it's just two screws. Ooh, a little bit dirty under there. And I have noticed that the, the lens is slightly warped. It's either the heat of the bulb or the heat of the motor. There is a little silver reflector piece here, look. And, ooh, wow, that looks uh, a little bit odd. Give it a bit of a wipe. It's quite mucky. There's a bulb. I think I've got one of these to hand if it's a bayonet. Hang on. There we go. Yep, it's a bayonet bulb. 15 watt they've fitted. And that's blown. I think the one I've got might be slightly smaller than that. Oh, I'm making a right mess. I wonder why it's got this plastic on the top covering the, the top bearing. Ah, oh, yes, it's hiding. It's hiding the suppressor. Hmm. A bit curious in here. It's similar. Obviously, you can see the family resemblance between the seniors we had. It is a bit different. The suppressor is at the back here. It looks... I mean, you can't really tell by looking, but there doesn't look to be any sort of strain on that. I'll have to see about removing it at some point, obviously. This is odd, this bit. It's, it's held together. It's held in place by a bit of wire here. I mean, I don't know if that's normal. I'm wondering why this came to be in the vacuum shop. Perhaps it was a trade-in, I don't know, or it was just donated and they thought, oh, this is quite a rare model. We'll shove that on eBay. Anyway, I'm going to pop that back. I don't know how that was. I'll st I'm going to stick that down with some better tape. But you can see how the, the metal casting is quite a bit different to our Ranger Senior that Hoover just put the, the hood over the top of it, the avocado green one. They just put, put the hood over the existing Senior base. But you can see it's, uh, I can put my hand through a lot of this which you can't on the UK version. Right, that'll do, it's just a quick wipe. Just gonna get myself a bulb, pop it in, and we'll give this senior another go. I've got a little EverReady appliance bulb here, it's a 15 watt. It does seem a bit smaller. Yeah, it's smaller. But it's the same small bayonet fitting, so it should fit. Pop that in, there we go, so a nice new bulb. I'll just quickly give the hood inside a bit of a wipe, a bit of a spray. <laughs> Crikey, that was dirty, my cloth. This obviously does need to be properly washed and I will do that. Get rid of a bit. Let's just get rid of the worst few of the cobwebs. There was a few spiders in this that walked out when I first had this delivered. They found a new home. I don't know where they are. Somewhere in the living room, I expect. Right. Oh dear, I hope it's not going to mark the carpet. That'll do for now. Yeah, it's fine. Okie dokie. Let's pop the hood back on. 
just got to avoid the levers at the back, the handle release and the height control. Might have to move that down. Right, I think that's positioned correctly. I'll soon find out as long as the screw, yep, the screw heads are lined up. So that's quite easy. Two screws. Yes, this cleaner definitely sounds different. In fact, I've got the latest Ranger Senior, the avocado green one, because it's not that long since I showed you that model. I still had it out. It's not gone. It's not gone on the pile. So uh, we can listen to them both in this video. Right, that's done. Base plate back, locked into position. And we can see here, just to show you this famous Hoover slogan. The Hoover cleaner makes rugs last longer. It beats as it sweeps, as it cleans. It beats as it sweeps, as it cleans. I basic. Oh, make quite a good name for a YouTube channel. Some nutter wants to show vacuums. Yeah, I'd call it that. Right. I'll just uh, show you the bag. It's a bottom fill. So if we pull up the zip on this 70s vinyl, it does have a bag fitted, a new one, just a very basic imitation single layered bag. It's not on very um, securely, just pulled off without me pulling off the, the securing band. So this is thin single layered paper. Now I have in the past used fleece bags from a SIBO BS36 model, but they are very hard to get on. What you do, you cut the tops off. But what I found, a bit cheap as well. Now these are for SIBO BS36 or 360, 460 Evolution. I think you call it mechanical if you're watching this in the USA. Um, se several various um, SIBO commercial uprights. These were eight pounds for 10. And what you do with these, these are still paper, but they are double layered and they're pretty good. And because they're thinner than the fleece, they do fit on to the old Hoovers better. You can use this on any Hoover senior or junior that uses this type of fitting. So all you do is just cut the top off and here's one I made earlier. So basically you cut the top off just about here at the top where the green band is and then you can use that and you can see it's double layered. So far better than these single layered bags. But I'm not going to use that. I've got that earmarked for a particular cleaner I'll be using shortly. So I'm just going to, just for the quick demo, I'm just going to put this bag back in. I have to make sure the rubber band is on first. But yeah, it's quite a loose fitting. But I think when I put the, the SIBO bag on it will be a bit tighter. So we just have to put it over the tube. And this has got a replacement. I don't know if you quite see, there's some bellows at the bottom. They are replacement bellows. When I was cleaning it up, I noticed that they were Osprey brand bellows. And Osprey made aftermarket parts for Hoover cleaners. It'll still function fine. So in that goes. Do up the zip. And one thing I only noticed actually, when I'd cleaned the bag, I didn't realize it had a bit of Hoover embossing at the top of the bag. I think you'll be able to see Hoover there embossed on the top of this final bag. Okie dokie, let's plug this Hoover back in. And hopefully the headlamp bulb isn't going to blow as soon as I switch on. Takes some getting used to switching the cleaner on by the handle. I'm so used to putting my foot on this type of machine. Here we go.
making a brief cameo appearance. In the background was our version, really. Very similar, but quite different as well. They're both really Ranger Seniors. They both have the Hoover Beats as it sweeps, as it cleans action. They're both about the same size, same width, same depth. The UK Hoover though has the cable hooks on this side, whereas the American cousin has them on this side for some reason. We do also have quite a fragile but uh, quick release hook, I won't do it now, it turns down. But plastic, especially the bottom ones of these, they tended to break. But on the American Ranger Senior, they are metal hooks. Let's quickly plug in this one. I'm not sure if I fitted a bulb into this one. I'm not sure if the headlight was working. This one's looking quite tatty now because it's not had anything done to it yet. No polishing. It'll be interesting to compare them side by side. I'll just check there's still a bag in this one. No, there isn't. I'll have to pop a bag in. Not going to do any cleaning with this though, but just to listen to the motor. I will put a bag in. Um, I'll have to use the SIBO one. But on this one, we have a top fill dust bag, which is better really than having the bottom fill bag. Because every time you switch off a bottom fill cleaner, a lot of the dirt just goes to the bottom of it and then the motor's got to push it all the way back up again. But on a top fill, the dirt goes to the bottom of the bag and stays at the bottom. Right, I think I should just be able to, that's a tighter fit. Is it, hang on, they are very tricky these, there we go. Let's inflate the bag before I do the zip up, that'll be fun won't it? The UK Ranger has a lower tone to the motor, isn't it? You brash Americans, you see. Oh, you, come on. Pointing at you and we can't even see you on the, on the doodah. There we are, there you go. You brash Americans. Not like our dependable British cleaners. Of course, I'm joking. I have a lot of American viewers. <laughs> so, uh, oh. There we are, two, two cleaners together. We can see the differences and we can see the similarities.
Well, there you go, double the fun in this video. Two cleaners beating, sweeping, and cleaning my carpet. Probably almost as good as the day they came out of the factory. This one in North Canton, Ohio. And this one, I'm not sure if it was Perivale in Middlesex or Cambuslang in Scotland, but we've got a British and the American cousin. Two vintage machines, equally good, and will knock spots off most of the vacuum cleaners you can buy today. Thanks for watching, especially my American viewers. If you have any, any other things you can tell me about this very rare cleaner in the UK, please comment below. And don't forget, stay tuned. There'll be more vintage and modern vacuum cleaners for you to enjoy on this channel for as long as I draw breath. So I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching and bye for now.